第二十四对表演题目是 Everyone can make a difference. 计时开始。I'd like to pass on a story about three friends who accidentally helped save the world. It began not long ago when a trio set out on an adventure. Row, row, row your boat. Hey guys, long time no see. How's everything going? Great, it's been a long time. Yeah, really. We're heading up to explore an unknown world. Wanna go? You bet. Let's get going. On. Now, unfortunately. Every story always seems to have an unexpected twist. Ra ra ra! They find there are mysterious rows surrounded by garbage and dirty air. Where, where are we? I have no idea. <gasps> Why is the land and the sea so polluted? I know there's garbage everywhere. <coughs> where are we? Oh, what's that? Who were you and where are you? A ghost, but merely a poor man trying to survive. Ooh, we're sorry, sir. Please tell us who what the date is today. Today is November fifteenth, twenty one fifteen. You don't even know the date. We have traveled through time a hundred years. But where are we? We were sailing on Pacific Ocean. You're in Taiwan. As you can see, it is not nearly as beautiful as you remember. Why not? What did humans do to destroy the environment? Well, over the last century, people on Earth didn't concern themselves with their environment. They never considered the benefits of reusing, reducing, and recycling. Even worse, factories discharge their industrial sewage and exhaust pollutants without filtering them first. That's horrific. Had we known, we could have stopped those things from happening. Absolutely. How about we return to 2015 and revert this catastrophe? Great idea. But first, we must take some photos to prove that what we have witnessed is true. Come on, old man. Wow, girls, that's really awful. Okay, everyone. Thanks. <laughs> The trio enter the whirlpool and reverse direction to return to the year 2015. We can't allow our future to become what we have seen. I know. We have to come up with some ideas to save our mother Earth. Let's build a network platform on environmental protection to talk with other young people around the world. Great idea. And I can use social media to contact NGOs like Greenpeace yeah, to see if they will offer assistance. Their mission is to save the Earth while maintaining sustainable development. Hey, and we can launch a flash mob campaign to clean the beaches and upload the video to Instagram. Great idea. Although we are young, we still can change the world. Absolutely. We are all sharing this place we call Earth. So let's. Earth, 
So it's essential that we all cherish and protect it. We simply can't afford to let it go to waste. And due to our efforts, the Earth was saved by future environmental disaster. Shake it off! Shake it off! Great! Now I don't have to live in a world surrounded by garbage and dirty air. I feel alive again! So remember, how we act in the present will dramatically affect our future. Yeah! yeah. And, and by working, working together, together, we can all make a difference! Thank you for your attention. The 25th performance is Youth YouTubers Glamour. Attention. Bow. Joanne and Lucas are sophomores and popular YouTubers. Their videos have gone viral, get them to a search labels of fans overnight at age 15. They have even received an invitation from the Red Cross to create a video to attract more attention. Illiteracy can be a serious problem in some countries. A lot of people living in poverty don't have the resources to study. Literacy is a necessity if the human race wishes to develop further. Now, it's deeply connected to understanding how the entire planet works. Now, they are making the videos with some Red Cross workers. Hey, what's up guys? This is Luca! And this is Joanne! Even now, 16% of all people in the world are illiterate. Half of the people in Africa are uneducated. We would like to talk about this issue further. Let's try to get 10,000 hit in two days. You guys are literally the best thing in the world because you all do the challenges. So let's, let's get, get into, into it! it. Awesome so far! And guess what? I think we just got another case. Cool, show me! Hmm, interesting. Let me think what we can do. Nowadays, most of you spend a lot of time and use lots of resources to minimize ends. While there are still people out there who don't even recognize the alphabets. As the convenience of technology borders, it also brings up more and more distractions. Why should we study hard? What for? Because it's not even worth it. I'd rather spend my day on the internet or playing video games. Stop complaining, dude. It doesn't do any good. It only makes things worse. I don't think so. All right, all right. As we can see, procrastinating and whining is definitely not a good way to get things done. Oh my gosh! This is ridiculous! You and I spend the same amount of time studying. How come I fail almost everything and have to do it over again? I don't know. Even worse, <laughs> my boyfriend told me. The reason being, he thinks I just play video games. And that I think video game is more important to me than spending time with him. I've lost everything. I want you. This is your own choice. You can't blame anyone but yourself. I know, right? But I can't help myself. I think I'm addicted to all of my high-tech products. What should I do? I don't want to make the same mistake again. First of all, self-control is very important. Even so, smartphone and laptop are so convenient. They can also bring some problems. Second, you will lose a lot of precious time that you could spend with the ones you love instead of playing online games. That kind of makes sense. I hope it's not too late to make a change. As long as you are willing to never give up, it will never be too late. Woo! Yeah, mission accomplished! Great job! Every time when I'm on my family vacation, I'm always on my phone chatting with my friends who I actually see every day at school. Exactly! It actually happens. All that we care about is social media, popularity, and competing the most followers. We're such a spoiled phrase. I know, right? 
I really miss it when I can just enjoy the time relaxing. Spending time with real people and not worrying about contact with my friends or if there's internet and the next stop. I've missed out on too much already. As we can see, we should never underestimate the power of person's listeners. This can end up being drastically destructive. It teaches us a life lesson that getting what one wants doesn't always mean good things will happen. We must develop an understanding of the importance of self-realization, thus showing the destructive of nature and less listeners. Generally, this occurs when people are too addicted to today's technology, thus creating a lack of real interest in their own self-realization. And, and that's, that's not cool! Attention! Bow! Thank you. Thank you! 第二十六对表演题目是 Fashion Industry Find and Flip Project. 计时开始 Hey Ruby, graduation prom is coming. Have you come up with what to wear? I have no idea. Any suggestions?、Mm. Let's check out some magazines and watch TV shows to learn the latest fashion trend. B, welcome back. Today, in our exclusive interview, we invite the sleeper winner of Dream Fantastic Championship, Bradin, who showed overwhelming creativity in his collection. What kind of determination supported him to reach achievements at such a young age? Let's welcome Bradin. Hi, everyone. I'm Bradin. I'm glad to be here. So, Bradin, 17 years old as you are, you've caused a worldwide sensation. Could you tell us what motivated you to do the most? Mm, I have to say, my childhood experiences inspired me to become a fashion designer the most. You mean the life in Bengal? How did you get in touch with the fashion industry?、Mm, Bengal is one of the countries where clothes manufacturers establish their factories, and lots of laborers in my country are involved in fashion industry. However, the story behind it is inhuman. To my knowledge, women in Bengal, including my mom. Are forced to work in overcrowded space to fulfill orders. Not only work environment is harsh, but the laborers have to work up to 100 hours per week with hourly wages. That's why I'm determined to become a fashion designer and to dedicate myself to arousing concern of long-time work and the adequate conditions among all fashion designers, clothes manufacturers, and customers. It's indeed an important issue. Want to know more details? We'll be right back after the commercial break. Be. Queen, look at this coast. They're made in Bangkok, China, and Cambodia. Have you ever thought of the living condition of these places when buying land? No, as long as the clothes are cool, who would bother to do so? You bet. The public does not care as we did before.、Mm, well, maybe you're right. The place, places you mentioned just now, are made expert processing countries. While we buy designer clothes from those well-developed ones, that is what I'm talking about. And my problem is, why those clothing factories want to produce their commodities in those countries? Perhaps. Take a look at this.、Hmm? To lower the cost and increase the profit, many renowned brands like Cap, Mac, and Peloton choose to produce their commodities in underdeveloped countries. These clothing factories need not worry about lack of workers. To get more profit, they lower laborers' wages and force them to work long hours. Laborers are built as robots, and their rights are ignored completely. Here, click this link to an article about ethical fashion. It says that ethical fashion represents an approach to the design, sourcing, and manufacture of clothing, which maximizes benefits to people and communities, while minimizing impact on the environment. Remember what Bardeen said: poor working conditions and unequal pay are in violation of ethical fashion. Hmm. Maybe we can launch a campaign to make more people aware of the situation. I have a good idea. Let's utilize the power of the internet to promote our campaign. A few 
few weeks ago, two Taiwanese senior high school students launched a campaign in the fashion industry and fleet project, the Fine and Fleet Project. They recorded a video clip in front of clothes stores, calling on the public to start buying clothing from those stores and nominating famous people to join in. Let's check out the video. Hi, everyone. I'm a 16-year-old high school student from Taiwan. My name is Cliff. Hi, I'm Luby. Let's ask together, together who made my clothes. And it's Zhang Wang, Dao Yizhou, and Fadi. You are nominated. We hope that everyone can start to see before they buy their clothes. We refuse to buy and wear clothes. They are made by laborers who are exploited. If you have the same thought as we do, please join us and pass on our spirit. Let's flip the existing situation and the force fashion industry to change. Hi everyone, I'm Pradeep. I want to thank two young Chinese students, Cliff and Ruby, who invited me to take part in this challenge, which asked us who made my clothes. Let's make the world a better place. Now I'm going to nominate Taylor Swift, Andy Lau, and Maroon 5. As you can see, this activity has gone viral. The public started to learn and practice the concept of ethical fashion, and we're glad to know one giant in the clothing industry has given a positive feedback to this project. Let's check it out. I represent CAP to apologize for our ignorance laborers' rights. From now on, we'll keep ethical fashion as one of the company's core concepts. So far, we have adjusted laborers' wages and work time. We hope we'll make a difference and welcome other companies to join. Thank you. 第二十七对表演题目是 The Portrait from Heart and Compassion. 计时开始。Who am I? This is heaven, kind man. Well, but I have done nothing great before. Why am I in heaven? Well, let me recall your memory. What does that word mean? Is life true? Um, no. I'm so starving. Hey, how's the meal today? What are you doing? Ah,、uh, I don't care the meal today. I went to cram school yesterday and I forgot to prepare the test. Oh, it tastes awful. You worse than burp. Look at those starving children in Africa. We are lucky and should be grateful to what we have. <laughs> you call it lucky? Especially when I need to finish this disgusting chicken. Well, what, whatever we try to do, the meal won't change their situation. Stop bothering me to prepare the test. Fine, time to sleep. Morning, guys. Wake up! How? Did you watch the video at lunchtime? Uh, no, ma'am. I, I don't think the video will be associated with the exam questions. What? <laughs> okay, fine. But you know what? I don't want to give a test today. Yes. yes. No, no test, test today. today. <sighs> Let's review the video first. There are nine people dying in one minute. And six of them are under five years old. Uh, it freaked me out.、Uh, What's worse, each month they could only spend five hundred dollars. Five dollars? They they couldn't even afford a tea egg. You are right. Few days ago, a new website called Free Rice. What's Free Rice? Well, I don't know either. See, this is a website. It can donate rice to African people. Teacher, is it real? Of course, it's real. You can search it online. Hmm, but how can we donate rice? There will be a word. If you know the meaning of the word and get the right answers, then you can give them ten grains of rice. Wow, ten grains of rice. For example, kachra means. Oh wait, I know.、Um, alcohol, right? Seriously, that's not even on the options. 
Ha, huh, I know that word. It's concealed, right? Oh, no, but <laughs> nice try. Nice try. It's overconfident. Right, you win them 10 grams of rice. 10 grams of rice. Wow. So we can use the words we have learned to help those needy, but not only for tests. And I suggest that we should play it every day so that we can prevent 90 times free 270 people from death. Wow, it's good to see your changes. Why not check more information about people in hunger? I hope you guys can share with us if you want to know more about that. That's it, Miss. <sighs> What's next class? Just go to the lab. <sighs> Did you watch the baseball game yesterday? Of course! Hey, yo, yo, what's up? Yo, so, what's up? Did you check the information about hunger yesterday? Of course! I found a famine not just in Africa, but in Syria. Whoa, Whoa really? I thought there was only war in Syria. Hey, you know what? Besides searching for that information, I also wrote an email to an app company and suggest that they could make free rides as a cell phone app. Wow, that's so cool! I don't care. Just, I don't know. Hey guys, it really works. What, what works? The company gave me an email. What company? The app company, remember? Mm -hmm. They say they take our idea seriously, and finally, they decided to make free rides as a cell phone app. Whoa, that's unbelievable. You really do something. Hey, that share this with our teachers in class. Sure, and we should let more and more people learn how to embrace the world and eventually care for those people around you. See? That's what you have done! Your little change makes the world better! One, two, thank, thank you! you. The 28表演题目是 The Butterfly Effect 计时开始 <laughs> Volunteers wanted? Help the elderly? What the point? Why would I waste my time doing something stupid like that? There's shopping to do! See that? Typical, yet another self-absorbed tiny sound person. Well, she's about to learn that actions can have unforeseen consequences. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness! The traffic here in Taipei seems to get worse every year. I hope I Ooh, who's that woman? She's so nicely dressed. <laughs> and that just about wraps up my report on Indian citizens working and traveling in Taiwan. This is Amita Gupta, new Daddy Television News, your 24-hour source for all the latest news from India and around the world. Isn't that interesting? Wait, let's try that outdoor one more time. I wonder where she's from. Come on, change you stupid light. I still have some more shopping to do. Oh, oh, are you alright? Oh my goodness gracious God, let's keep floating. What happened? This is Amita Gupta for NDTV News. I am on the street in downtown Taipei where an old woman has just been struck by a car. Amita Gupta, NDTV News. Miss, did you know the woman? No, I didn't. What can you tell me about what happened here? Oh, I don't know. Why are you asking me? I see. Well, thank you for your time. Clearly, the young people of Taiwan are not really concerned about the fate of the elderly population. This has been Amita Gupta, NDTV News. Okay, that's great. Let's get this to for you. What should I do? She's dead! Oh, I'm really sorry about that, miss. Did, did, did you see who did it? The driver? No, sorry, I didn't. What should I do? That's a very good question. Yeah. Well, how about giving me a good answer then? Who are you anyway? Who I am is not important. What I can offer you, however, is important. What you can offer me? Yes. Look, you creep. This woman just died right in front of me. I don't need riddles. I do not offer any. Then just say it, will you? What do you want to offer me? 
a second chance. What on earth are you talking about? Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? But that thing about a butterfly flapping its wings in like South America and it causes a typhoon in Asia, that thing? Indeed. What does that have to do with anything? Our smallest actions sometimes may have far-reaching consequences. You saw that poster, did you not? Yes, so what? You chose to ignore it, and the woman paid the price for that decision. How dare you! It's not an accusation, it's a statement of fact. Stop it, you're, you're a horrible, horrible man! Quite possibly. Why am I even talking to you? Because I came to give you this, my dear. A butterfly? A second chance. A chance to save that woman's life. What do I do? Look inside yourself. See if there's another way, another path you could have taken. Perhaps then, you'll see the way. Look inside myself? Find another way? What are you talking about? Where did you go? Hey, don't just leave me here. Great. Now what am I supposed to do? Oh, man. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. Butterfly, show me the way. Come on, you stupid thing, show me what to do. No? That thing? Wonderful. What did that man say? See if there's another way? <laughs> choices will lead you. Our smallest actions may lead to worldwide changes. Wise words from a wise man. This is Amita Gupta, NDTV News. Good night. Thank you. The 29th表演题目是 Who Cares? 计时开始. Let's let it over. Finally, let's paint a town red. Sounds great. Why don't we go to the movies? I have been interested in Avenger. Iron Man is my idol. Chung Chung. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? That's a brilliant idea. I mean... Jens, want to come? Hmm. I'm afraid. I can draw you. I have to go to the crane school. Don't you know? The, map, the entrance is, a, is around the corner. Come on. We still have 400 deaths. Don't worry, we have plenty of time to prepare. Imagine all the people living, lying in peace. Ooh, 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 ooh. You may say, hey, I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you will join us. And the world will be as one. Hey, buddy, what's wrong with you? You look upset. Let's dance it over. Let's celebrate. We are going to see a movie. Do you want to join us? I don't have a mood. The drug of exam reminds me that people are suffering from hunger, poverty, wars, diseases. Refugees are everywhere from Africa and Europe. What can we do for them? I feel so bad. I feel sorry for them. I care about them. I hope I can make a difference. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be a matter we should care about. 
Don't you know? Our main concern is the end chance event. We are only students. This little, we can do a mega change. I have to study hard to get a good grade. Then, I can enter the medical college. When I become a doctor, I will have the chance to work for the doctor without border. In this way, I can help. Mm, I've thought about majoring in social welfare. If I graduate, I can do my part to help them, but not now. I want to be a singer like Beatles in the future. Uh, in that case, I can make a difference. Our English teacher says, it's that uh, thoughts that counts. We can make a difference by arousing people's awareness. That makes sense. But how? In what way? Oh. Ah, I know a website, Playing for Church. Why don't we sing some peaceful and inspiring songs? Oh, sing! We love singing! Hopefully. People will care about the real issues, like us. In this world, not only can we do what we like, but we can also share our compassion for people who are suffering. Hmm. Sounds interesting and meaningful. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Where are you? Wait! There's a prayer in your heart. And I know that it is love. It's the price will be brighter than tomorrow. If you really try, you find there's no need to cry. This price will feel there's no fear or sorrow. There are ways to get there. If you care not for living, make a little place. Make a better place. Tell the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying. If you care enough for living, make a better place for you and for me. Make a better place for you and for me. Cares. We, we care. care. Hope, Hope you can join us. Thank you. The thirty three performance theme is One World One Dream. Start. Good evening. This is CYC News. The following news is about the reconstruction in Cambodia after the disaster happened last week. World Vision is working about English teaching for children and environment cleaning to prevent some disease in Cambodia. Now, they need more volunteers. If possible, please join them and do your efforts to help those people in Cambodia. Next, there was a terrorist attack happened in Bangkok. Volunteers? Of course! This kind of good activity, I will never forget to invite my best friend, Fanny, to join me. Hello, Fanny. This is Lily. Would you mind coming to my home right now? I have to share some ideas with you. Really? Okay, just wait for me. Hi, Hi Lily! Lily started to tell Fanny about her ideas. It sounds great, but instead of volunteers, I suppose they maybe also need some necessities, such as clothes and shoes. Let's try! So, before we came for Cambodia, we should get us some used clothes! Yay! After several weeks of efforts, Lily and Fanny finally stayed on their journey to Cambodia. After the first sight in Cambodia, Lily and Fanny are stunned by what they saw. Jay 
condition, a living condition in this area. Besides, I also wonder if I could stay here for two months. Hey, my friend, look on the bright side. Everything is possible. At least we stand on the same land, breathe the same air, wasteland. You're right. Let's report to World Vision and start to work. Oh, why do we have to clean our environment? The weather is so hot. I want to go swimming in the pond. How about you? But I prefer several pairs of shoes. One pair for my mom, one pair for my dad, and one pair for my sister. Shoes? What shoes? The World Vision and Sun Martyrs tell us. One bag of trash for one pair of shoes. See, I can get a new shoes. Oh, here they are. Hey, Gary. I have waited for you. Are you ready to get a pair of shoes? Certainly. See, now I want my dad's shoes. How about you, Charles? Do you want shoes? Will you be here tomorrow? I want to inform my mom this news, please. Don't worry. We will always be here with you because of the love from Taiwan. We are here. Where is Taiwan? Is it far? The distance of these two countries is far, but the distance of our hearts is tiny. Taiwanese people are friendly. In Taiwan, many people care about all of you. If anyone needs help, Taiwan will support you. This is the reason why we carry so many shoes and clothes from Taiwan. The burden is heavy, but also sweet. The most important, you like them. Yes, we do. After two months, Lily and Fanny are ready to work. Today is the last day they stay in Cambodia. I think I will miss this then. Lost children and unforgettable experience here. So do I. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this activity. How about next year? Will you come back? Don't forget to call me in. Needless to say, we are good partners. Hey, only Charles and Gary. Hi. Hi. We know you are leaving. <laughs> These flowers are for you. My mom wants to say thanks for what you do for us. And I water this flowers every day. They contain our sense and gratitude. Hope it will light then. Oh, thank you. Thank you and see you. We are ready to board. Don't forget, the distance between her is tiny. We will always care about you in Taiwan. And so do other Taiwanese. Bye. Bye. To make a difference, Taiwan's youth embrace the world. Ladies, gentlemen, and distinguished guests, let a story happen in an ordinary Taiwan family. Love spreading. Why? They are my baby's shoes. Look, the reporter said that there was an activity which everyone can donate a shoe to land. This is Joseph, BBC News. The organization SCOW is calling all the kind people to donate their shoes to the Africa children. Now, there are two million people attend this activity. Maybe we can donate these shoes to an organization. How do you think? Mm, this is a good idea, but why do we donate shoes to them? By doing this, we can let the people who live in Africa no longer have enough shoes to put in. They live in poor for they don't have enough clothes to wear or food to eat. So, we need to try our best to conserve them if we have enough ability. Then Mickey, hand these shoes out. I will send them to the organization next week. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I want to donate these shoes. Hand it to the organization. Uh -oh. 
okay. Hi, cute girl. Hi. All the shoes are donated by the kind people. Equated all the compassion from the volunteers. And you can pick a pair of the shoes you like. Wow, I never see such a beautiful shoes. I'm so happy. Can I get one more for my best friend? I hope that she can never suffer from a pain as me. Of course you can. Not only in Taiwan, there are a lot of people like to help others in need in another country. They are worth to honor. They even have trouble to help them. Mm, I want to thank them for their enthusiastic heart and selfless love. There are no more words to express my appreciation. Okay, I will give you a wishing card. Let's go. Run quickly. The girl is wearing my shoes. She looks so happy. The successful activity touched all the corner of the world and it also touched the Africa children. They are so happy and thankful to them. Oh yeah, I see. The charity is a good thing. We can get satisfaction and contentment by doing it. And there are more human beings that we have to help. We can make a train of love continue. So call your friends or climate to do this like donating something or being a volunteer, the world will be more wonderful. That's a small part of international concern, and we can also do many things to help other people in need. Like donating clothes, money, or devoting some rescue team, we can throw in It depends, we can't just help people abroad, but do it nearby. That's true. As we said, sending our love to everywhere, we can make a world a global image. Bye. Thank you. 第三十二对表演题目是 Being Volunteers, Showing Love. 计时开始。Good evening, I'm Cindy Hsu. 1,865 people killed, tens of thousands oh, homeless, no, and many more still unaccounted again. for tonight after Which the worst to disaster some? Nepal has seen in nearly a century. I know that there's a summer international relief agency. In city of Janice, maybe we should join it right away. Do not rush to go there. It takes time to be a proper volunteer. Otherwise, you may only mess up things. Why? Isn't it easy to be a helper? No, it's not what you think. You need to know whether you're the person who they need. What can I do to make them want me? Helping, Helping seems to be the hardest work. work. It's sad, so sad. It's a sad, sad situation. Hey, don't sing it. Be serious. What can I do to help them? OK, you may want to help victims of the earthquake. But they don't need unskilled volunteers or aid they can use. You should need some professional skills, such as basic medical treatment. And you have to spend time getting to know the country. OK, I can try my best. We finally arrived. It was a long trip. Yes, we finally arrived in Nepal. Now, let's find the rescue station. <laughs> My poor child. Where are you? I know your feelings. But, they're strong. We're on the same boat. Hey, the rescue station. Let's go. Excuse me, we're the volunteers from Taiwan, and we've learned that you've been suffering so much. 
Is there anything we can help? My child has been missing since the earthquake, and I can find her. Could you help me? We know how you feel. Earthquake often strikes Taiwan, like the 921 earthquake in 1999. It was really a nightmare. We can't believe we can survive the earthquake. Before you, there were also some volunteers from other countries who arrived to help. They really want to do something, but they don't have the resources. The situation becomes even worse. It's true. When the first earthquake struck, I was there. Fear was something we had to overcome. Some were injured, some were unconscious, and most were killed by falling buildings. Don't worry about us. We're well prepared. Let me bandage up the wood again. <laughs> Just remember to take care of it every day. Okay, I know. And here are clothes and blankets for you. Wow, thanks. These goods are all we need. With blankets and clothes, we think we can get through this cold winter. You know, we are homeless. There are many victims of our country. But you help us feel the warmth of your humanity. Although we are homeless, now we need to cheer up. There's no hope without being optimistic, right? Before we come here, we saw carefully where to use our skills and spend time learning a bounty pole. We have confidence that things will get better. Yep, we knew that if we want to contribute to the rebuilding efforts, we need to learn its complex nature of its recovery. Earthquake! Oh, I got a shelter! Oh my god, oh, I'm dead! <laughs> it's over, let's go! Oh my god. Careful. Are you okay? Janice, it's important we can offer our help, right? You gave me useful advice on understanding victims' needs and doing what we can do for them. Of course, the salt I've eaten is more than the rest you've eaten. Okay, I know, I know. We're going to leave. What's your plan for the future? We don't know now. And it seems that our country needs a long time to recover from horrible disaster. But we believe one day we can make it with government's help. We would like to provide our giving hands to others who are in the same situation like us. Yep. That's the spirit. Aris, the experience of helping Napoleon is really precious. But we should keep in mind that being a volunteer isn't just a sudden post, but a lifelong career. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. It's true, make a better day. Thank Pay it forward. 计时开始. Three million. Three millions travel around the world. Three millions travel around the world. They just finished a trip to Taiwan. They want to go to another place to continue the journey. But unfortunately, the plane made an emergency landing in India. Three millions lost their directions in the airport. What are we going to do? Our vacation was already ruined. Hi, guys. There's an activity for anyone who wants to assist the people in their housing. Hi, you guys. Come here, come here. Have you ever thought of helping those people in need? Why should we have to do this? It's not our business, right? Hey, but there are the people who need assistance. Mm, I think this is a good chance to offer your help to the locals. You, we have a competition provided by them. So you don't have to worry about what to leave or eat. The only thing you need to do is do your best to help the homeless and clean environment. Oh, it is 
enough is for arrangement. Yeah. Well, I just can't accept this kind of thing. They are so tearing without any payment. So, I will stay here and wait for you. All, All right. right. See you. It's not a journey for B volunteers. Maybe for a poor area of our city. Here we are. Before you start to work, let a volunteer who has worked here for a long time tell you some points for your assistance. By the way, she's a volunteer who comes from Taiwan. Hey guys, how is the day? My name is Ivy. Not too bad. Hey. We had taken a trip to Taiwan the other day. Yeah, Taiwan is a wonderful place. Why you guys teenagers from some other areas, such as Taiwan, want to come here and be a volunteer? Taiwan used to be a receiver of the international humanitarian aid. Over the past few years, our government has been actively engaging in humanitarian aid to help more global sisters. Wow. So what can we do to help the poor and the homeless here? Take it easy. Just take out your patient. Let's start with the environmental discussion together. Mm. Wow, it sounds so easy. Yeah, it's not difficult to do, right? But it's very important for people who live here. Without clean and tidy environment, all rest of here will get sick. What are we waiting for? Let's start working. Next. We can accommodate all friends here, learning and given comfort and love. Once upon a time, a prince and a princess lived happily together. Wow, it's so wonderful. Thanks for your help these days. Look, the environment has become so tidy. Wow. And the children are very grateful for your help. Oh, goodbye. It's time to go. See you next time. After a meaningful days for being volunteers, millions return to the airport and share their experiences with Stuart. Where's Stuart? Stuart! How are you doing this days? I have been so bored here. Tell me everything about what you've done for these past two days. That's very interesting. We have the sun housing, the environmental disinfection, and Australia children with joyful matter. What's more, we met Taiwan's manager volunteers there. Their spirit really inspired us. I'm with her. After these work experiences, I have a totally different perspective of those people. They are so passionate and I love them so much. It's the work. You should have come with us. It's worth it! Wow! Really? What's a real pity? If I had known earlier, I would have a different journey. Next time, if you want to join this kind of campaign, you must invite me! Okay! Perhaps we can sing a song to Lost Poor next. Let's sing. Ba 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 na na. Ba 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 na na. Ba na na ba 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 na na. Ba 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 na na. Ba 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 na na. Completeness, a story about living up to life. Aki has been dreaming of going abroad since she was little. She learns English by herself, hoping one day she could travel around the world. However, life is tough. She runs her will pie stand, where she can only support her family and herself. Finally, finally. We arrived in Taichung. It's been a long trip. I'm so starving. And worst of all, we don't have any place to stay. Anyway, just find something and feed me. Fine. Hey, look over there. There is a tiny stand. Let's go and check it out. Sure. 
Excuse me, um, I, I can't speak Taiwanese, so I would like to... So, would you like to try this pie? What? You can speak English? You understand us? You're right. We are really hungry after the trip. Could we try your cookies? Try these pies? Yeah, yeah. But they look so, um, not that good to eat. Come on, open your mind and try some. Mmm, it's delicious. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you, lady. Really appreciate it. But we have to go now since we don't have any place to stay. Oh, my goodness. I almost forgot all about it. So, where should we stay? How about coming to my class tonight? The two girls go home with Aki. They help Aki drink the raw pie stand cargo home. To meet you girls, welcome to Taiwan. Help yourself to the pies if you like to have some more. Oh, sure. These pies are the most special food I've ever had. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's a story behind it. Yes, it's a long story, but for me, your pie is the memory of my girl. Girl? You mean your daughter? Yes, my daughter. Does she live with you? No. Well, actually, I don't have a daughter of my own. I adopted a Cambodian girl from the war region 19 years ago, and she's probably 20 years old now, I guess. So you've never seen her? That's right. Every year, she would send me a picture of her. I could only look at this picture whenever I meet her. But does it have something to do with the wheel pie? Yes. When I looked at the photo at the first time, and I was wondering what kind of food she would like to eat, then wheel pies comes to my mind. Interesting, but why? Girl, say it. The whole pie is round and with mashed the rabbit inside the crispy pastry. Do you know what rabbits mean in Taiwan? Yeah, I know. Red beans symbolize memory. You're right. What a beautiful story. Can we take a look at her photo? Sure. Here you are. It's the one she sent last week. She's beautiful, but she looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, she's Lin, the Eastern girl with a round, pure white face and dark straight hair. Plus, beautiful eyes, right? And we study in the same college. You do? You girls come from Cambodia too? Jennifer and I are overseas students from Cambodia, and Lin happens to be our classmate. Oh, really? How lucky I am to meet you girls here. Would you like us to bring something to her? No, no, I'm fine. No bother, since we haven't met for the past 19 years. Don't you want to see her in Cambodia? Of course. If I can afford the plane tickets, if I can go there, I will show her how tasty wheel pie is. If... Great, I'm here in Cambodia. Finally, I finally meet you. Me too. Thanks to Jennifer and Fanny, I bring you something special. Wow, it's a pie on the photos you sent me long ago. It's wonderful. Taiwan for all. Welcome to today's episode of Hades Shore. This night, the motto will be Taiwan for all. So may I gladly present to you, Mas Liu, a Taiwanese politician in charge of school affairs. My dear Hedi, you look a school's neighbor. Thank you, thank you. Have a seat. And let's welcome our next girls. Xinya Wang, a Taiwanese student from one of Xinzhu High School.
Welcome, Senior. Please take a seat. How do you feel today? Great, great. It's an honor for me to be here today. It's an honor for me to have you here. So now let's welcome our last guest, the Filipino student, Pablo Ye. Make yourself comfortable. Today, we are here to talk about the experience Sinya made when she went to the Philippines as a volunteer. So Sinya, would you share a story with us? Oh look, they're there. They are so cute. Let's go and say hello to them. Hey, my friend, do you know that two Taiwanese students are coming to our school today? Oh, yes, I am so excited and afraid. Hello, kids, how are you? Hello. Oh, they look, seem to be so shy. Sinya, dear Patrick, please come to classroom 105. The students are waiting for you. Oh, so let's go to the classroom. I'm very nervous. I don't know how to expect and I don't know what to I don't know how to teach them English. Don't worry, I think I have an idea. I know a funny game. Hi kids, do you want to play again? Okay, it goes like this. Let's, Let's play. play! Concentration. No repeats. A hesitation. Let's go first. Sia go second. The category is fruits. Apple. Banana. Lemon. Orange. Watermelon. Papaya. Guava. Papa. Oh. oh. Okay. Wow, you both both of you are great. This is your prize. Thank you. This is because we have lots of fruits in the Philippines. See you next time. We want to thank you for this lesson. We had so much fun. Wow, that sounds like a very nice experience to me. Thank you for sharing, Sinya. So, Sinya, you and your how was the experience for you? Well, first, I feel really sad to leave this place and all the lovely children. But then, I realized that I should really be happy about the time I spent there and the chance to help the people in the Philippines. You know, the gap between poor and rich is very big there. That is a really moving story. So, Pablo, how was the experience for you? I was so happy when Sia and Patrick came to teach us. We played a lot of funny games. I hope more students like them will come to our school in the Philippines. Thank you, Pablo. So, so Sinya, you and your friend as Taiwanese students went to another country to be volunteers. Why are not volunteering in your own country? That is exactly what we are thinking about. Taiwan has way less poor people than the Philippines, but still there are some who need help. This is why I want to ask everyone to can see us here for help. Thank you for joining us. The show will be continued. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. 第三十六对表演题目是 The Coffee of Conscience， 计时开始。The cafe owner is enjoying the entire job. It's all doing good. Hi, I'm the boss of Kevin's Cafe. I have a dream. I want to let the whole world know that coffee is good and healthy. Because of this belief, I want to make a little bit of change to this world. Kevin went back to the final merchant. Hey, hey, I want to order coffee beans for next month's stuff. Okay, we have to transfer cargo these days. I need 50 bucks of coffee beans. Okay, then total amount is $5,000, right? Couldn't be a little cheaper, please? You know, offering a favorable price for my customer is my expectation. However, you also know that the price of coffee bean is fixed. Actually, it's impossible to adjust the prices. Well, I, then I need 50 bucks of coffee beans now. 
a small victory in Congo in Africa. Hey, buddy. I would like to transfer 50 boxes of coffee beans. As usual, it costs $1,000. Sorry, our harvest is not very good this month because of drugs. Can you answer mine, please? I have told you, the price has been fixed for many years. If you do not want to sell the coffee beans, I'm okay. Because we have our system and won't change the whole price because of you. But we really need more money. We work so hard for money to even me. Like we made efforts in growing coffee beans. Furthermore, our rewards are often only a little. Enough. I hope this is the last time I discuss with you about price. I'm sorry. I know. I won't. The businessman brings coffee bean back to Kevin Coffee Shop. These are hot one. Thank you. Here's $5,000, please. Sorry. Because of recent case of natural disasters, the harvest amount is too small. So, you have to pay $500 for coffee beans. What? K KB, we have a deal, don't we? I am not willing. All this is unpredictable natural disasters, isn't it? All right, all right. Wait for me. I'll give you money. One day, when Kevin hears the bad news, he decides to go to Africa. Excuse me, who is the leader? Uka, Uka, I'm here. I want to ask something about the coffee beans. Does the quality or other things have some problems? No, no, the quality is very awesome. I listen to the news that your life is more painful. Is that true? This is a long story. I'll take you to experience the process of planting and harvesting coffee beans. After the experience of all morning. I'm so tired. I can't continue to do anymore. We cultivate the coffee beans diligently. However, we can extract for food as well as clothing and even a meal to satisfy our family's needs. We are as poor as church mice. Well, it's weird. First, the price of coffee beans not cheap. Businessmen want to purchase coffee beans with lower prices, but they sell to you at higher prices. Gosh, why will they do that? <laughs> we are not worthy. Don't be sad. I will teach you a song now. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I tell you, I always honor me dread to see heaven again. I'm gonna to purchase the coffee beans with you guys, very late by our merchants. I really appreciate your visit here. We all always welcome you back. What's wrong? I want to cancel order for Kobe beans. What? Are you kidding me? No, I want to cancel all of the orders. What? What? What, what is so sudden? Something wrong? Because the Kobe farmer in Hong Kong are my good friends now. Wait, wait, wait. I know. I know you know the whole story. I am so sorry to do nothing to prove every time farmers. I decided to sponsor planting and harvesting machine to help those coffee farmers to save manpower and increase productivity. Then, I will double the price to buy the coffee beans to improve their lives. Is that all right? Good job. You have concerned the poor farmers about their lives and help the poor in needy Africa. As a member of Global Biology, I can help you achieve this aspiration of international concern and people-to-people diplomacy as well. Just remember that we are family in this world and follow the same. There is nothing more beautiful than someone who goes out of their way to make life more beautiful for others. Thank you. 首先，请国立台中教育大学英语学系赖正吉教授上台讲评。Right. Good afternoon. I I'm very very impressed of what you did today. I just want to know how long did you prepare for? All these uh, activity for today. How long did you prepare for that? Five months. Half a year. Two years. Seriously. 
Okay, it probably depends. But of course, I would like to say it's a very close race, and the competition can be very, very fierce, which is a headache for us. And uh, let me give uh, a few comments. I would like to say I, we, all of us, speak highly of uh, your performance today. But the reason why I'm here is to give uh, some uh, feedback. So I will do it right away. Uh, we score based on three categories. Number one is the English ability. And number two is creativity. Number three is content. So basically, I will mainly speak on the English ability and a little bit creativity and the rest of it will be uh, shared by uh, the other professor. For the English ability, I'm not sure some of you noticed it or not. When you are standing right here, probably you did not rehearse the actual stage situation. The microphone is right here. But when you are very far away from the microphone, your voice may not be heard. That's an issue. So next time, or Maybe next year, it's not you, you can tell your junior. This could be happen. You have a very good rehearsal and practice. But you, when you come up, pay attention to this. Otherwise, your voice is not here, that's a pity. Number two, the enunciation issues. A lot of you could speak English very well and fluently. But think about it, you speak very fast. And also due to your nervousness, you speed up even more. When you speed up more, the enunciation is an issue. People cannot hear you very well because you're speaking too fast. So for some, some of uh, you, the, the enunciation problem probably are derived from the speed itself. But some are not. Some are probably uh, speaking like this. And a lot of example, what do you think? What do you think? So try to focus on some focus word or have some intonation changes that will make uh, people understand much better. I'm all talking about the comprehension issues. And then, then uh, creativity. For me, I want to share just a little bit. A lot of you had a great idea in the creativity. Not only the, uh, not only the idea itself, but also the originality. And when you, only one thing that I would like to remind you, when you are trying to persuade people, uh, for example, being a, uh, a work, uh, join a, some volunteer, you yourself can feel, uh, you can pass the passion to people. So when you said it, you make people feel you're passionate or people can really be influenced by your passion or motivation. Uh, this property is uh, pretty much what I will be sharing. I'll leave uh, the rest of the time to one of the, uh, the other professor that will be sharing. Thank you very much. And all in all, you did a great job, believe me. Thank you. Is it on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, thank you, Professor Lai. I think you've already taken care of all the technical stuff. So um, I can talk a little bit more about the content. I mean, first of all, I kind of want to uh, reiterate what uh, what Professor Lai already said. Um, I think you all did a really good job and whether you go on to the next round or not, I think you can all be proud of yourselves. So first maybe clap for yourselves. <laughs> and I mean, I was very impressed both by the, by the quality of your English but also by um, what the level of enthusiasm and passion that you showed. Um, you guys broke my heart. <laughs> Some of those, of those uh, presentations that you gave, I think, were really quite moving. Um, they also, I mean, I, I think I'm just going to talk about a few of the things that occurred to me while I listened to you. Because I, I think it was quite interesting for me to hear how high school students think about their place in the world. Um, one of the things 
that um, I found very striking is, well, and maybe uh, I can kind of, uh, I will be pouring a little bit of cold water on all your passions. One of the things that struck me is looking at your um, presentations, one could think that the problems of the world have their source in people not caring enough. That the problems of the world have their, are, are, have their, have their root in the fact that people don't have good intentions. I think, you know, there's, there's never been a shortage of good intentions. I think some of you kind of gestured at that in your talks, that, you know, um, it's not enough to kind of want to do well. You really have to understand the problems in order to do something well, uh, to, to actually improve the situation in, um, or to, to um, well, to improve um, international ties. Um, about that, um, another thing that struck me is there were a lot of cardboard televisions and cardboard computer screens in your talks. Um, and of course, that makes perfect sense because if you know about the world, it's through the, through the media, what people call the media, right? And mostly that means televisual media. Um, but, and of course, there was a lot of CNN or BBC and so forth. You know, if you guys are serious about learning about the world and about international politics, you know, there's newspapers and they're actually on the, they're actually on the internet very often. And I recommend that you try to, try to read them if you're really interested. Because pictures, you know, sometimes you hear the, the sentence like, one picture says more than a thousand words. That's just not true. It's actually, uh, I think, very often if you want to understand, the complexity and the, the, if you really want to understand the background of the civil wars, of the, the environment of catastrophes and so forth that you refer to in your talks, if you really want to understand that, no amount of CNN or no amount of television will help you. You're going to have to read. Uh, well, so that's um, a suggestion for you. Um, let's see. Well, the global village, that was also a phrase that many of you kind of refer to. Um, you know, the global village also, I think, in some ways, it's just a phrase. And it's actually, you know, one of the things that, that I found interesting when you were referring to the internet in your talks, the internet had like two different, it came up in two different ways. Sometimes it was the thing that opens you up to the world but sometimes it was this thing that makes people kind of become selfish and narrow, right? They're just looking at their cell phones. And I think that's actually very true, that it can have both effects. The, the idea of the global village was one that was coined by a very famous guy whom you also should read. He's really interesting, Marshall McLuhan. And he thought it's the media that make the world a global village. But of course the effect that it sometimes also, that the internet sometimes also has, is it makes it much easier for us to kind of just focus on the stuff we are interest, interested in and leave out the rest. So I think you have to be very careful in how you use media. You have to be very skeptical and not always trust them. Um, I think that's probably already more than I should say. So I, again, um, I, I'll leave it at that. Um, thank you very much for an interesting and touching and very entertaining day. And I'll see half of you again tomorrow. Now请教育部国民级学前教育署李晶晶科长上台为我们揭晓晋级名单。各位同学各位老师那待会我们就会宣布明天会参与复赛的 18 队的队伍 那如果, 
，你们学校被念到的时候，记得要用力的喊一下你们学校的队呼，让大家看到你们很不简单的表现。<笑>我们北区的时候，有些学校是非常有精神哦，希望中区的同学展现出你们的活力。好，以下所宣布的这个队伍哈，我们不按照成绩序，我们是依照那个队伍的序号。好，第一队，序号一，这样啊？哦，好好 ，OK， 好，刚刚晋级的是第一队哈，序号一，第二队。好，没关系，再补欢呼一次好了。晋级队伍第一队，序号一。好，非常有精神。第二队，序号三。好，要越来越有精神。第三队，序号六。第四队，序号八。第五队，序号九。第六队，序号十。第七队序号十一，好，越来越紧张哈。第八队序号十四，好，第九队我们声音要越来越大声哦。第九队序号十五，好，第十队序号十七。好，第十一队序号十八。好，第十二队序号二十一。好，第十三队序号二十二。好，第十四队序号二十四。好，感受到了。第十五队序号二十六。好，第十六队序号二十七。好，最后两队了，第十七队序号二十八。好，第十八队序号三十二。好，以上这十八队呢，就是非常恭喜你们会进到明天的复赛。OK。第三十二对演讲题目是 Number Two， 计时开始。To ensure the national security and public safety, visa is required by almost every country around the world for foreign visitors. The visitors must reserve sufficient time to submit their applications, make appointment for interviews, and wait for the approvals. On the other hand, the foreign affairs staff will be the gatekeepers by thoroughly examining the application documents and interviewing the applicants. However, due to the limited number of staff members, this visa granting process will set limitation on the number of travelers and affect visitors' will to travel abroad. Take Schengen Agreement. And visa waiver program, for example, they both increase the number of travelers and are provided by the European Union and the U.S. respectively. The Schengen Agreement was first signed by only five European countries, including West Germany, France, Holland, Belgium, and Luxembourg, in 1985. It proposed the gradual abolition of border checks at the signatory's common borders. Currently, except for Ireland and the United Kingdom, all the EU members are part of the Schengen area, and some non-EU countries are also included in the area. For international travelers, there will be border control when they enter or exit the area, but no internal border control among the countries. For us, as ROC passport holders, we are granted Schengen visa waiver. And this makes it much easier for us to travel from country to country in Europe. The U.S. didn't try to cooperate with neighboring countries to provide a super visa, 
between the U.S. and other countries. Instead, they launched a visa waiver program and used ESTA, the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, as travel approval. In 2012, the U.S. announced that Taiwan was designated for participation in the visa waiver program. Under the VWP, eligible Taiwan passport holders will be able to travel to the U.S. for the purpose of touring or business spend 90 days or less without obtaining a visa. All we have to do is apply online, pay the bill, and we will be ready to go to the U.S. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has been persuading more and more countries to grant visa waivers, landing visas, and other privileges around to ROC passport holders. For those countries, they must carefully take both the national security and tourism benefit into consideration and strike a subtle balance. The most appropriate measures to take is to grant such privilege to the countries with friendly and law-abiding people who are willing to travel. Take Taiwan for instance. People in Taiwan enjoy traveling abroad during their vacations. The visa waivers, landing visas, and other privileges not only provide extra motivations for those considering traveling abroad, but also save our time for pre-travel preparation. This creates win-win situation for the countries granting us the privilege and for the travelers holding ROC passports. In addition, Taiwan gets more and more visibility and recognition around the world, and it will also enhance our international relationship. Persuading more and more countries around the world to grant visa waivers, landing visas, or other visa privileges to ROC passport holders will be beneficial to bounded countries, to the boom of tourism, and to our international relations. We will make traveling preparation much easier and time efficient. The consent of visa waivers or other visa privileges will boost the tourist industry and enhance mutual communication as well as understanding among countries instead of risking national security. We will make traveling preparation much easier and time efficient. Most important of all, the ties among countries will get even closer and stronger. Thank you. Number three, Honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, our topic is, please comment on an international issue that you think Taiwanese people should be more concerned about. Please elaborate on specific ways to get people in Taiwan to take these issues more seriously. In order to connect with the world, we have a responsibility to develop a global perspective. The most direct way to do this is to be aware of what's happening around the globe and to inform ourselves of international circumstances. Recently, many influential events have taken place, and some of them are closely related to Taiwan. After considering various global reactions, to the landmark decision made by the United States Supreme Court regarding marriage equality, chances are that Taiwanese people will pay more attention to this issue, and furthermore, will allow citizens of Taiwan to make informed judgments on this somewhat divisive topic. We believe that Taiwanese people should take the issue of the legalization of same-sex marriage more seriously. There have been several human rights groups in Taiwan that have been making efforts to promote the concept of same-sex marriage equality in the minds of both government officials and ordinary citizens. After years of campaigning for gay rights, the United States Supreme Court finally ruled in favor of same-sex marriage equality. Nevertheless, many people opposed this law. Months ago, a public official from the state of Kentucky, Kim Davis, refused to provide same-sex couples with marriage certificates, citing her religious objections. She was ultimately convicted of contempt of court for her refusal to obey the ruling, which resulted in a short jail term. 
Upon being released from prison, however, she publicly stated that she would never approve of same-sex marriages. This issue and its aftermath has attracted both supporters and detractors for Davis. We can see from this case that more and more people are becoming aware of this international human rights issue and are choosing sides based on their own beliefs. While paying attention to the issue of same-sex marriage equality, we must also be aware of other international affairs which can have an equivalent impact on Taiwanese society. In Taiwan, we can watch CNN news and we can take advantage of some useful cell phone applications to keep us abreast of the issues affecting us each day. Following the trend of using smartphones for obtaining information, almost every newspaper and TV station has created their own apps. People can watch or read about the latest news with a touch on the button on their phones. Several news websites have also provided users with a nice way to exchange different viewpoints regarding news stories or events through the use of public forums. By using the ways mentioned above, people, including the people of Taiwan, can educate themselves about international issues and realize the importance of them. This method will definitely allow Taiwanese people to take international issues more seriously. In summary, after the legalization of same-sex marriages in the U.S., this issue has become popular around the world. Due to the close relationship our country has with the U.S., there's a high probability Taiwan will deal with this legal problem soon, which is the main reason why Taiwanese people should be more concerned about this topic. We should pay attention to international issues happening around us. Since the world is closely connected, we are responsible for developing a global perspective, for getting to know about other countries and how they interact with the world. There are many useful methods, some of which we have mentioned to achieve that goal. We should take these issues more seriously and develop informed opinions on them. As we increase our global perspective, we will definitely make Taiwan shine worldwide. On behalf of myself, and my teammates, Ginny, Jeffrey, and Sunny. Thanks for your kind attention, ladies and gentlemen.